Okay, now we're going to learn how to do blue herons. I uh, got some gray ink uh, with blue. Uh, blue is a opaque blue with a little uh, indigo blue. And so it's a kind of gray. You can do the bird uh, either this way or this way. Uh, I don't know how you like it. Let's see, I, I'll do it this way first, maybe. So the dark on, along the back of the heron. See that gradation? And then I can do another one, parallel to that. And uh, you can reload a little bit, dark. Colors to do the the head. So it's like a, a Z stroke, and uh, you can you can just use the same brush use uh, some with some ink to do the tail. Now the brush gets dried. Also I, I purposely move the brush faster. So you can leave some space between the body and the, the feather. Uh, it's actually the big feather and the wings for, for crane. I think uh, for heron also, that's the black. And uh, you can use a stiff brush. That the first brush was a sheep hair brush. The second brush I'm using is the uh, wolf hair brush. Dot the eye with dark ink and uh, the beak, just one stroke. Just like a, you know the calligraphy stroke we learned earlier, and the uh, two legs. I. You don't have to do the two sections, you know, just make it simple. One behind, in there, that's... And I use uh, the leftover brush, I mean, in color, you can dilute it further. Remember, I don't wash the brush that much, I wash it on the paper. So the, the, the um, Water stays clean even the brush is fi I mean the painting is finished. Uh, that's a good habit to have. Also, it's good for painting. You know, so be careful with the water in the brush. Uh, use use a paper towel to dry it. And I do another. Probably it's a little behind. Uh, out of room. Overlap. So this one is a little loose because it's, a, it's a behind. You can do some uh, loose feather like that. Suggest it with and there's a crown also. And, uh, so a little bit. And at an angle than this one. Try not to repeat, but sometimes it's nothing to try to stick. <coughs> um, so one little darker, one light. And you, you can just splash some color, suggest to water. That's all I will do. Just <laughs> doesn't come out. Beautiful. Thank you. You can uh, write a little 
short lines of poem, like uh, a pair of uh, birds above, uh, by the water, standing by water. So uh, I just say that. One pair of uh, heron. Blue heron. Standing by water. <laughs> This is a year of horrors and signature. And then we put a red stand. You can also uh, make it more dramatic by adding a little red or orange in the head. It's, a, it's like heron and a, a crane. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank it's you. amazing how it changed. When you put the, the feather there, <laughs> I was like, oh! <laughs> All yeah. the details. Yeah. So the second one is more suggestive, uh, just yeah. the head. It's going to uh, try to uh, overlap. And it's like a uh, dance, the sparse contrast. You don't paint one next to it, to it um, separately. So they also uh, feel like more closer as, as a, a couple. Yeah.